Just just let your arms and your let let the feeling. Hello, tonight or today on Pretty Good Cooking, we're gonna cook Jimmy's meat sauce. This is Jimmy. Hi. He's a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. Well, you gotta make a drink. That's the first step. Tonight is brought to you by the letter bourbon. <laughs> Cheers to you. We have um, a large amount of pork. Yeah, preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Okay, so Dutch oven. One jar of bacon <laughs> grease. I put the bacon grease in the pot. It's heating up now. We're unraveling the pork. We're salting and peppering. We've got one side. We're gonna drop it in here. And we'll just let it hang out for a few minutes. Yeah. This is Boston's butt. Cut. Not my butt. I'm rinsing carrots. They're in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna give these guys a some cutting. You're, you're the chef now, man. Oh God. And keep doing that till you're done. It's been a proper amount of time for flipping. Oh baby, it looks nice. If you like a lot of carrots, put in more. If you don't like carrots at all, we'll go to hell. Carrots are delicious and they're good for your eyesight. Although that's not true. Propaganda. Although if you're my child, it's totally true. You'll go blind if you don't eat carrots. Your dad's a very nice father. I'm gonna briefly brown this. Size, maybe, if I can do that. This is dangerous. My hand could burn at any moment. Ah! <laughs> Just a little bacon grease in the eye, no problem. Oh God. I'm cool, it's good. I can see out of it still, <laughs> no problem. All right, we're gonna take the pork and put it in a ramen bowl. It's done caramelizing. You got one side looks pretty good, the other side looks pretty good. Cutting up this onion. I am going to... I think I'm gonna slice it because I'm lazy and I don't feel like dicing. You wanna dice it? I can. Alright, you dice it. Slice and dice! Who f***ing designed this onion? I need to go back to patent court. And then it gets a little scary because you might lose a finger or three. Half an onion. But wait, that's not a science. Use exactly 6.4 ounces of onion. Jimmy, you're not my real dad. I'm uh, not your fake dad either, so what does that mean? You know. I think you know. And in commie measurements, that's 176 grams. Plus a couple little pieces of carrot. Does, it, does this go in now? Yeah. Okay. I like to use bowls and plates as a shield for getting bacon grease further in my eye. I mean, worst case Ontario, I just end up with a cool looking glass eye that eventually will be replaced by a laser beam. Carrots, there's some. Do you think this is a game, Phil? Yes! How much celerity? Three celerities. And is that uh, metric ribs or standard ribs? Nautical ribs. All right, we gotta go to the ocean. There's no time. Yeah, everything's fine. The, it's fine, Dice. It's not really that fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There's a French term for what we're cooking right now. Food. What's next? Ah, uh, well, we just let this go until these guys are translucent, and then we're gonna throw in a summer squash and a zucchini. Yeah, we just keep stirring it, you know, making sure it's not getting hateful. So I'm just <laughs> stirring this from time to time, making sure it doesn't stick too much. You want a little bit of crap to build up on the bottom. You're gonna need the crap. But what about the garlic? Ooh, I want to see this. Why did I sit down? Whoa! Whoa! You want garlic to be beaten up, not abused. Confused. Because there's some sciencey thing about like enzymes or something. Give it the old Jimmy Chop. I'm giving it the Jimmy Chop. Because we're gonna cook the shit out of it. Chop. You know, it's it's somewhere between a fine chop and a, a hand puree. That's a soda break. <laughs> so we're just stirring this perpetually until things look soft. Carrots never look soft. Carrots always look a little bit hateful. Okay, we're gonna dump. Would anyone care for a leftover piece of Little Caesars pizza? Ooh, hot and ready? Well, it's cold. It's Is it cold and it was ready? It was ready earlier today. Oh, man, that's fresh for Little Caesars. 
This rice wanted to kill you and squash. I was told to, to save this rice by the, the government. We're doing that thin slice. Pretty nice. Sometimes it's not as thin as others. Squash! Play squash and zucchini. In. We did it! Yay! So, we need to make a drink. We need to make a Manhattan. Whoa! Yep, we added the Manhattan to the thing. I don't know what that cherry stem's gonna do. Probably nothing good. So we're gonna take our tomato paste. <laughs> so, we're gonna put a fair amount of red pepper in here. That's, that's a, a reasonable amount. So you give that another good stir. Oh, it's looking and smelling really delicious. I wish you could smell this. It's pre-made spaghetti sauce. It's a secret ingredient. So, the general process. And uh, you dump about half of it in. You gotta be careful. All right. And we take our pork, and we put our pork and its attendant drippings in here. So this is uh, a 24 ounce jar. So we've got another can of tomato paste. Go suck, suck. Whoa! So we've got this nice tomato turd that we're gonna stir up in, in this business. We're gonna crank this guy down the low. And you make sure that your meat is covered. Always cover your meat. And actually, I'm gonna add about one third of this jar, so about eight ounces of water. And dump that back in there. Because we're gonna cook the shit out of this thing. We'll tell you for how long when it's done. I assume you guys do like ADR, like this is Dragon Ball Z. Like, so like you can match up different people's voices to my mouth. I want the ice cream with the, with the fire, or uh, the fire with the, with the dead rat. <laughs> 10 out of 10! Alright, uh, I normally do this in the oven, so... What temperature is the oven going to be set at, Jimmy? It's going to be set on 300 American Fahrenheit degrees. Don't you feel so safe and secure? They're supple. Oh. It's pretty dirty in there. My oven runs hot, so it's actually probably 350. The most sacred of oven temperatures. We're gonna leave it in there until it's done. And when it's done, we'll let you know how long it took. Are we gonna drink? I don't see any way of avoiding it. PRB lol. It's been like maybe two hours. We're gonna check the meat. Oh yeah. Mamma mia, papa pia! Oh damn! So what we're checking for first, yeah, like if salad, if salad tongs begin to rip the meat apart, you're on the right track. So what we're gonna do at this point, it's hot enough to eat, so that's good. We're gonna turn this down to 250. Um, so I'm gonna take the meat. I'm gonna flip it over. This actually accomplishes very little. And the only reason we're leaving this in any longer is so I can have another drink. Enough. And so we're gonna leave that at 250 and we're gonna give it another half hour. I'm happy. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull out our pork. Whoa! Real good. If you look uh, on here and uh, it's like dappled with uh, crap, it's probably good. Alright, so we're gonna pull out. So uh, bring this uh, guy uh, over to shake the meat off that bone. Really good. You can see we've got these big chunks of fat over here. We're just gonna try to separate those out. Just so, you know, as much as I enjoy fat, you don't wanna have big f off chunks of it. All right, so we're gonna pull off our bone and our fat over here, just so we don't have untoward chunks of weird business. And we'll shred it basically like we would for barbecue. You know, just shred it up like you would for a pulled pork sandwich. And once we get this all nice and shredded up, we can add it back to the sauce. <laughs> that's, my, that's my favorite. Spaghetti! It's fancy! Make a pasta! Ow! Pasta's done! I'll fix it, no problem. Ow! Sometimes it happens, boys. Sometimes it happens. Consider them libations. What the f***? <laughs> Did you guys see that shit? Your haunted dishwasher. My house is haunted. 
My hands hurt. And so we're gonna take all of this meaty mess right back in to our sows. And then we're gonna stir it up. Yeah, we're stirring it up together. So this is really thick. So if you look at this, it's more of a delicious flavor paste. So we're gonna add a little bit of water. So this adds a little bit something. So I'm just gonna just loosen this up a tiny bit. And honest to God, you could have this on buns like, like Sloppy Joe. It wouldn't be a problem. So this is what you might call a ragu? A ragu. Baby. What's that? Pasta? Nice. Souse. Oh yeah. I hope this is good. The sauce has my name on it. I feel I feel good. I'm gonna actually eat this. Good. That's a fine place. That's how you make Jimmy's meat sauce. How you make Jimmy's meat sauce.